Welcome back. Attending the 7th Tokyo International Conference on the African Development, the TCAD in Yokohama, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi addressed the third session of the conference entitled Business Dialogue Between the Public and the Private Sectors. In his speech, the President pointed to the importance of relations between the public and the private sectors, which are aimed at achieving sustainable development for the African peoples. The head of state stressed that achieving economic development is not only the responsibility of the governments, but also through finding a constructive partnership with the private sector to push development. President Assisi referred to the vital role played by the private sector to achieve both societal and economic development in Africa as it possesses great potentials that help provide job opportunities to the youth. The President reiterated that the African continent is rich with natural and human resources as it is located at a very special geographic location, encouraging the flow of the foreign investments and thus increasing the growth rates. He concluded that the African states would exert the utmost efforts to increase the joint work with the private sector and the development partners to provide problems to the challenges and hurdles that may face the private sector. In his speech before the Japanese African Business Forum, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi stressed the importance of fostering the partnership between Africa and the international institutions. President Hassisi said that the Black Continent's 2063 agenda aims at increasing cooperation with the international partners and encouraging investments to achieve economic and regional integration. The President went on to say that the African countries had taken up several infrastructure and power projects to increase development. Meanwhile, the head of state reviewed the achievements of the African Union, including the Free Trade Zone Agreement, which was signed during the Extraordinary African Summit held in July of 2019. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi met Japan's Trade and Industry Minister on the sidelines of the TCAT conference in the city of Yokohama. Presidential spokesman Bassam Radi said that the Japanese minister reiterated Tokyo's interest in increasing mutual cooperation with Egypt and providing Cairo with the advanced technology in all fields. He added that his country has been encouraging Japanese companies to pour investments into Egypt as the country has implemented huge economic reforms to attract more foreign investments. President Assisi appreciated the efforts being exerted by the Japanese Trade and Industry Ministry in boosting mutual economic and trade relations. The President pointed to the promising investment opportunities in Egypt in various sectors especially the mega and the national projects being undertaken by the government. President Assisi reiterated that Cairo is looking forward to the partnership with Japan in the national transportation project launched by the country to work by the natural gas. Meanwhile, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi also met with the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on the sidelines of the TCAT 7. Presidential spokesman Bassem Rodi said that the President expressed keenness on cooperating and coordinating with the United Nations to enhance the main role in several files related to the developing countries as well as funding sustainable development projects of the 2030 Agenda. For his part, Guterres hailed the distinguished international work of Egypt as well as the efforts exerted through the Presidency of the African Union. He also expressed the, the organization's keenness to enhance cooperation with Egypt, aiming at restoring regional peace, stability and development. The meeting also probed the means of fostering cooperation between the United Nations and the African Union, whereas the head of state asserted the significance of the strategic partnership between the two organizations to achieve progress in the African Development Programme 
and to end the civil armed conflicts of the African countries by the end of 2020. Also on the sidelines of the TCAT 7, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi met the Ugandan counterpart Yoweri Museveni, where they discussed the development path for the basin countries to achieve mutual goals. During the meeting, President Assisi praised the vital role of Museveni and his efforts to enhance security and stability in the continent. For his part, the Ugandan president stressed the depth of the bilateral ties and expressed hopes to foster cooperation between the two countries in all domains regarding the Egyptian vital role in the region. Egypt's stock market indices gained 7.3 billion pounds on Thursday, being bolstered by purchasing operations by Arab and foreign investors. The main EGX 30 soared 1.64 percent. The EGX 70 added 0.4 percent. The more expanded EGX 100 added 0.53 percent. The overall transactions and dealings within the session reached 1.2 billion pounds. Egypt's handball team lost to Angola in the final of the African Games in Morocco 25-31. The first half ended with Angola 15-12 lead before extending the gap to six goals in the second half. Angola was crowned with the gold medal, while the handball team added a silver medal to Egypt. Egypt team lost the semi-final game of the 2019 FIFA B Volleyball Boys Under-19 World Championship to Italy 0-3. Uh, to three. On Friday, Egypt's team are to meet their Argentinian counterpart eyeing a bronze medal for the third place. Tunisia hosts the tournament from 21st to 30th of August. <laughs> 